Hey it's Jill, your Energetic Ninja, equipping my clients with the tools and techniques to create and live the life they truly want. So those are energetic and strategic tools, right? So we mix those two things over at JillLithia.com. But we're talking about time today because one of the things I get asked the most about is, is, you know, I need more time. I need more time for my business. I need more time for my relationship. I need more time so I can have the body that I want, right? And it's one of the complaints of all my clients and it's one of the things when I ask for feedback back of, you know, if you could have more money, time, or energy, what would it be? And every single person says time, right? And so I'm going to teach you what I do in my daily life because honestly, I feel like I have enough time. Is the time full? Yes. Do I always get everything done? No. But I do feel like I have enough time in a day. And I am, you know, the mom of three kids, 17, 9, and 7. I am alone three out of the four weeks of the month because my husband works away. I have adrenal fatigue and other health issues, so I am not at full energy all the time. And I really only work during the time my kids are at school and a little bit at night because I have a strict bedtime and morning routine. So you guys, I don't have a pile of time to do my business. And I also make all the meals myself at home because of all the food, food allergies that happen here. And my house is clean. Like I could take a video and show you through my whole house right now, and it's immaculate. So. I'm really good at the time hack, guys. Like, and I feel like I have time to add more stuff in. Like, if somebody needed me, it wouldn't blow my whole day out of the water. But here are the three biggest things that I started doing. First one, declutter. Get rid of the clutter in your home because everything that's cluttered jams up all of the energy. So this is an energetic tool, okay? And what happens is, is when there's clutter, things take longer. Right? So I look in my closet, my closet is clutter free. Like the moment the clothes are taken off, they're put in the hamper. The moment the hamper is full, it's taken downstairs, it's put in the in the washing machine. The washing machine is put on, right? Like it's clutter free. And what clutter free does is it creates a rhythm and routine. Like the keys get put back in the same place every time. The moment something comes into the house, it gets put away. Everything has a space. And when everything has a space, you're not wasting time looking for things. You're not wasting time cleaning up for things. And you're not wasting time like pushing your way through all the crap and yelling at everybody because it's annoying, right? Declutter. Love, need, or use in your space. Does this take time to get it to the state you want it to? It sure does, but it is worth it in the end. At the end of every day, I spend five minutes and I put everything away, right? Like, I put the toys away that the kids didn't put away. I put away the papers on my desk. I put everything back into its spot so I have a clean slate in the morning. Because here's the deal is you can say you're going to do it once a week. But then that pile is going to rise and clutter attracts more clutter. So it gets more and more clutter. And all of a sudden you don't have, you know, 30 minutes at the end of a week. You have like an hour and a half worth of shit to put away. You are wasting time on the clutter. Right? And the less clutter you have, it means the less purchasing you're doing, which means the purchasing time, you have time to work on your business so you can add more revenue and add more dollars so you can go on that vacation that you truly want. Okay? So, declutter. First tip. Second tip. Establish a rhythm or routine for yourself. So every morning I have a certain time I get up, I have a certain rhythm or routine that I do, I take the kids to school and I come back and I sit down at this very desk you see me at until lunchtime. Then I have lunch, then I sit back down at the desk or I go on errands depending on what my day looks like, right? We have a certain time we have dinner, we have a certain time that I shut down my work for the night, and I have a certain time I go to bed. Establish a rhythm and routine. Put on your big girl panties and realize that a rhythm and routine actually saves you time and creates more time and space for you. Because that's the funny thing about time is, guys, time is created because we believe it's there. So the more you believe you don't have time, the more you won't have time. Like, that's a guarantee. I feel like I have lots of time. Lots of time to do everything I want and more, you guys. Right? Okay? And the third one is get on the no train. And this is a big one for us, especially as women, which it's the biz babes, so the majority of your women is, is it's hard to say no. But you have to start saying no to everything that doesn't drive you towards your purpose. And this is why I have lots of time, you guys, because I say no. I say no to the volunteer activities that don't align with my reason why and what I truly want. I say no to the things at school because my kids are just meant to go there and I don't want to be a parent helper. Like, three kids is enough. I don't need 25. Okay, I say no to tea dates that I know just result in a whole bunch of gossip and they're not moving my life forward or filling me up in any sort of way. I say no a lot. I learned how to say no when I was sick on the couch with adrenal fatigue and adrenal fatigue is all about people pleasing, you guys, 
right? So when you're wearing yourself out and your energy's going down and you are, your adrenals are burning out, it's because you are a people pleaser and you are on the yes train. And you've got to get on the no train. And my functional medicine doctor told me, say no to everything you don't want to do. Heck, I say no to some of my kids' stuff because it doesn't feel right to me. Right? And I had to be that radical in my approach when I was really sick, but I've continued it as I got healthier because I realized the no train is the reason why I'm living the life I truly want. So there it is. There's your three time hacks. Declutter. Get rid of all the stuff so you can move around more freely and easily in your space. Create a rhythm and routine for your day so you know exactly when, how, and why you are doing the household stuff and you are doing the work stuff. And the third one is get on the no train. Like for a week, say no to everything. You'll be amazed at how much time you have when you say no. And then obviously we all know the whole scrolling through Facebook and social media is a waste of bloody time. So if you're going to consume content, make sure you're using it. Anyways, there is a three free um, part video series that's all about determining what you want to do for 2017. So taking a look right now about who you need to become to start working on 2017 as of January 1st. There's a link above. The videos are all really short. They're five to eight minutes long because I don't like wasting time, right?